Growing up exploring Alaska's ever-changing landscape inspires a lifetime of learning. That's why Alaska 529 is a proud sponsor of the Alaska Sea Life Center and focused on helping families take small steps now for their child's future education. To learn about the Alaska 529 plan, its investment objectives, risks, and costs, carefully read the plan disclosure document available at alaska529plan.com. Alaska 529. Save in Alaska. Study anywhere. Oh, hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Virtual Small Fry School here at the Alaska Sea Life Center. My name is Rebecca, and I'm so excited you're here with us today. We will be hosting these live every Tuesday at 11 a.m. Alaska time right here on YouTube. And if you have any questions, feel free to text them to the number in the description below. Now, I have more friends with us today, and some of them you haven't even met. We have uh, two new friends. One of them, their name is Laura. There they are. And then we have some other ones. We have um, Caitlin and Katie, and then you've met Taylor and Isabella already. So we're all here to make this program happen for you, and so we're all wearing masks to stay safe. November is National Native American Heritage Month, and so I want to acknowledge that we are on the traditional homeland of the Alutic Sukpiak people. And I also want to thank and acknowledge the 10 tribes of the Kodiak region whose heritage and culture continue to enrich our communities to this day. Last week, we talked about flatfish with Taylor, and we learned there's really cool body parts and behaviors that help them survive. We, we learned that they have two eyes on the same side of their body. They have a big mouth. And they can do this really cool thing called camouflage, which just means that they blend in like this flatfish here to protect themselves. We made our own flatfish. Check out our friends and their really cool flatfish. So we've been learning so much about fish this month. We've been learning about their body parts that help them survive. What body part do fish use to swim? Their fins, yeah. They also have gills to breathe oxygen. They have scales to protect themselves. Do we have gills? No, sillies, we have lungs. Do we have scales on our body? No, we have skin to protect ourselves. Yeah, fish are really cool. And we're gonna talk about a really, really cool fish today. Um, and we're here at the salmon habitat, and a habitat is an animal's home. What color is this? It's red. Yeah. What about this color? It's green. And this back here on their tail fin looks a little yellow or orange with the little black stripes. So cool. Salmon are awesome because they have a very interesting life cycle. And a life cycle are just the stages in the life of an organism. So just how they change over time. And they're so cool because they can live in fresh water, like rivers, and salt water, like the ocean. Both of those. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, so let's learn about their life cycle. Female salmon will lay eggs in rivers and streams. Then when the eggs hatch, the little fish that comes out is called alvin. Alvin carry the yolk sac like we see there underneath them because that yolk is the food that they need to grow into fry, which is what we are because we're a small fry school. Fry live, um, swim around and find their food and they get to know their home really well at this stage of their lives and this helps them when they return home. Then the fry turn into smolt and now they can move into the ocean at this stage of their lives. In the ocean, the smolt turn into adult salmon, and they continue growing. And when they're done growing, um, they'll return to the river where they were born to spawn. 
And that is the life cycle of a salmon. Isn't that cool? So spawning is when a male salmon and a female salmon come together to have more eggs. The female salmon will put them in, uh, in the rivers in between the rocks. Um, but there are other animals in the ocean and uh, rivers that do this too. They'll just release them into the water um, and then they have more babies that way. So it's not just salmon that do that. It's really cool. We have five types of salmon here in Alaska. Let's take a look at them. So can you um, count with me? We have one, two, three, four, five. We have the coho salmon that are also known as silvers. We have the pink salmon that are also known as hump bees. You'll see why. We have sockeye salmon that are also known as reds. We have Chinook salmon that are known as kings. And we have chum salmon that are also known as dogs. So um, this is one of our exhibits here. And when the salmon are done growing and they go back into the river, their bodies change. So they no longer look the silver that we, that we just saw. Let's find out what they look like when they go back to their home, okay? So we'll start with the coho salmon that are also known as silvers. Ready? Whoa! Oh my goodness, look at its mouth. Wow, that's a big change. And it also has, what color is this? Red, it has a red body, and you can kind of see it, but it has little spots too. Isn't that cool? Let's move on to the pink salmon that are also known as humpies. Ready? Whoa, here it is. Look at this really cool hump on its back. Wow, what a cool change. Next, we have sockeye salmon that are also known as reds. There it is. Do you see its red body? And it's kind of green mouth. Does it remind you of someone? Our friend the salmon, yeah. Let's move on to the Chinook salmon or the king salmon. Do you think you found it? Mm, let's see. Whoa, it's way up there. It is so big. And last but not least, chum salmon, also known as dog salmon. It's right up there, right here. Look at that really cool pattern on its body. Does it remind you of another animal? Yeah, all those stripes to me kind of remind me of like a zebra or like a a tiger, those animals that have really cool patterns on their bodies. Wow, friends. So, like I said, we are here at the salmon habitat, and um, they're right behind me. So I want us to take a closer look at, these, at the salmon that we have here at the Sea Life Center before we get started with our activity. Wow, look at this really cool salmon. It has a really cool pattern on its back. It has little spots. And when, um, this is the coho salmon. And when it um, gets bigger, it will grow like one of the um, salmon we saw just earlier. And it has that really cool mouth that we saw. So today, we are going to be um, playing with Play-Doh, and we're gonna be making our own salmon. So I hope you have your Play-Doh ready, or if there's any, like if you have clay, or something else that you wanna to use to make at home that you wanna to use to make your salmon, go right ahead. Um, also, feel free to use whatever colors you want. Um, I am going to make a red body with green fins, and then we're going to give it purple eyes. Isn't that silly? Yeah. I think so too. 
Okay, so let's start with the body. And yeah, you can use whatever colors um, you want. And if you have any questions, please feel free to text us right now and I can answer them for you while we make our salmon. Or maybe Laura can help me out too. All right, Rebecca, we have a text and it is asking, what do salmon eat? Great question. Um, what do salmon eat? Well, they eat um, organisms like macroinvertebrates. Laura, can you think of some of those? Yeah, so a good thing with that would be things like tiny little shrimp or little bugs, like some of the really cool stuff that we see called mayflies that fly around, maybe even mosquito larvae. All of that stuff are things that we would have uh, when the salmon are really little and living inside the rivers, that's what they would eat. Whoa. As they go out, they start eating bigger and bigger things until they're out in the ocean eating other fish. Yeah, they do eat other fish. Do you like to eat salmon? I love salmon. And it's really important that when you, you're adults or when you go um, and buy salmon at the grocery store, that you buy salmon from a place that where they, when they caught it, they didn't hurt the other animals or the environment. Um, and it's also really important um, that we do not take too much from the ocean because the Alaska Native people really depend on salmon to, um, to live and they harvest these, these salmon all on their own. And so we have to make sure that we leave enough um, in the water, in the ocean, for all of us to enjoy. Hi, Rebecca. We have another text message from a friend in Eagle River named Elijah. What happens to the eggs that don't get fertilized? Oh, great question, Elijah. Yeah, what happens to the eggs that don't get fertilized? Um, they just become food for other animals that um, also live in those rivers. Mm -hmm. So I am making my body a little bit kind of like with smaller ends just because it reminds me oh, of my friend fish. Do you see how its mouth comes in like that? And then on the back, it also comes down like that. Yeah. So, yeah, I love Play-Doh. It's been a long time since I played with it. Now I'm gonna move on to my fins. And um, we're gonna give it a dorsal fin, which is the one that goes at the top. I think this looks really cool. Just like that. Whoa. How do you feel about another question, Rebecca? Cool. Yeah. What kind of animals eat salmon? Um, so there would be things like big old brown bears that would really like to eat salmon. Oh, that's right. And eagles that would like to eat salmon. And there are even types of wolves that actually have adapted. And I think, Rebecca, you've talked about those really big words like adapted, meaning they have special abilities to catch fish. So there's actually wolves that will eat salmon, and it's very cool. And of course, the most important, maybe, is us. Lots of people love to eat yummy, yummy, yummy salmon. Yeah, those bears really like salmon. They love the salmon. I like salmon too. There was, um, and this might be a little advanced for our, our friends watching this, but there was a competition for the bears to see how big they got because they eat so much salmon in the summer to get, um, you know, nice and big and, and stay warm through the winter. Okay, so I've given um, my salmon <laughs> it's a really big torso fin. They kind of have hair like me. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> and we gave it side fins, too. Now we're going to give it its tail fin. Um, you know what? Maybe I will do a purple tail fin, too. Rebecca, we have another really great question from Naomi. If you need a, little, need a little help, I can help you out with this. How big can salmon grow? Oh, that is a great question, Naomi. Um, how big can salmon grow? Well, we saw behind me that there was that the king salmon 
it was so so big. But Laura, yeah, please help us out with this because um, I, I yeah, I just yeah. know that they get real big. So I'm gonna flip over to the PTC so they can see those cameras, uh, see that uh, right behind you as you work on your fish. Cool. So we can see how big that is. And so those king salmon can get quite large. Uh, down to our red salmon as well. We uh, for the middle guys for silvers and humpies and reds. We're making, we're looking at maybe three feet or so. While those Chinooks can, or those king salmon can be very, very, very large. Uh, some of the biggest king salmon are found right here on the uh, Kenai Peninsula, and it's super, super important for so many different groups in the area. Thanks, Laura. Get you back on that. Their fin is kind of like along the same side of their body as opposed to like that kind of like a whale. So um, let's make sure that we, when we put it on our fish, on our salmon front that we're making, we also put it along the body like that, like a line. Rebecca, we have another question that has even stumped me. Whoa. Do salmon drink? Do salmon drink? Great question. So a lot of the animals in the ocean, um, they also need to get fresh water, you know, like like we do, we, we drink fresh water. Um, and so they get that water from their food, the food that we eat, because we all organisms have water in our bodies, um, even though it doesn't look like it, but we do have water in our bodies. And so these animals too have water in their bodies. So when salmon eat, they get their water that way. Great question. And just for credit, that was from Jordan, who's a four-year-old that's watching our program. Oh, hello, Jordan, welcome. Whoa, look at that. Okay, time to give it some eyes. What color are you making your eyes? I'm making mine purple, because I think it'd be so cool to have purple eyes. Maybe they're a little too big. What do we think? <laughs> okay. We're gonna make a circle, or like a little ball with our fingers, just like that. And then we're gonna put it on, oh my God, it's not staying. Okay, right there. And then we're gonna do another, just like that. Whoa, right there. Well, I have a pencil here. I'm just gonna draw a smile on it. I think my, my fish is happy. Rebecca, are you okay. ready for another question? Yeah. Um, how long do salmon live? Uh, it looks like they live about three to seven years, and most of that is spent out in the ocean. Wow. And so they spend a long time out there getting big and strong before heading back into to have that spawning, which is when they get ready for the next group of baby salmon. Yeah, great question, friends. I must admit, I am learning so much, just like you, about salmon. Um, there's so much I still don't know about salmon, and these are all great questions because I'm learning just like you are. So thank you for all these great questions. Do we have any more questions? No? Okay, so I'm done with my fish. Um, please send us photos of your fish, of your salmon. I'd love to see it. Okie dokie, friends. So, I want to say uh, thank you to you for joining us today. I also want us to thank the salmon for being such a um, great source of uh, protein or food for all of us who do eat salmon. Um, and then I also um, want us to say thank you to um, Alaska 529 for sponsoring this episode. Stick around for story time. We're going to learn more about salmon. And I will see you next week. We are going to learn about the Alutic Supiak people's heritage. And so I'm really excited for that. So I'll see you next week right here on YouTube at 11 AM. Bye. Run, salmon, run. Written by. Bobs and Lolo, illustrated by Lori Joy Smith. Run, salmon, run.
this story begins unlike any other. It starts at the end for a father and mother. They finish their journey with one final wish that the story continues through new baby fish. Run, salmon, run beneath the moon and sun. The salmon story circles run, salmon, run. Tiny round egg in a gravel nest. Thousands all around, each one like the rest. Tiny round egg, you grow on your own, hidden below in a fresh water home. Grow egg, grow, as the currents flow. The salmon story circles, grow egg, grow. Look at all the baby salmon eggs. What color are they? They're orange, yeah. Little Alvin, you have just hatched. No longer an egg, yolk sac still attached. Little Alvin, wiggle in the dark. The great ocean calls, leave the nest, make your mark. Wiggle, Alvin, wiggle, in the shadow of the eagle. The salmon story circles, wiggle, Alvin, wiggle. That's the yolk sac. Small, hungry fry peek from the gravel, leaving the shadows to start on your travels. Small, hungry fry drift in the stream. The swift current whispers, go on, live your dream. Drift, fry, drift in the stream, sure and swift. The salmon story circles, drift, fry, drift. Drift. Young little fry, bigger every day, quicker and stronger, finding your way. Young little fry, learn scents that are near. It may be years before you return here. Learn, fry, learn. The river bends and turns. The salmon story circles. Learn, fry, learn. Where are the salmon going? Looks like they're headed to the ocean. Let's find out. Yep, they're going to the ocean. And then we have an eagle. We have some bears. A seal, and it looks like some whales, maybe. Bold silver smolt, swim in a school. Go to the ocean with all your new tools. Bold silver smolt, you dart and you race. You have arrived. Explore this wild place. Dart, smolt, dart. New markings like art. The salmon story circles. Dart, smolt, dart. Brave, bright salmon. Move far from shore. Watch out for danger from whales, seals, and more. Brave, bright salmon. Glide through the sea. A wish has come true. You are young, strong, and free. Glide, salmon, glide, through waters far and wide. The salmon story circles, glide, salmon, glide. We have an orca and a seal.
big strong salmon travel afar. Silver scales shine like a bright shooting star. Big strong salmon swim with the tide. Eat fish and krill, journey side by side. Swim salmon swim, a flash of silver skin. The salmon story circles, swim salmon swim. Full-grown salmon, a faint memory calls out to you, return from the sea. Full-grown salmon, search on and on, find your home stream while you are still strong. Search salmon, search, cedar, fir, and birch. The salmon story circles, search salmon, search. Looks like they're returning back to where they were born. Brilliant red salmon, ending your trip. Fly upstream past the bear's mighty grip. Brilliant red salmon, leap through the air. Rest will come soon, you are nearly there. Leap, salmon, leap, waterfalls so steep. The salmon story circles, leap, salmon, leap. What color are the salmon now? They're orange and green. Yeah. Sea salmon spawn from the forest trail. We learn their story, a brave selfless tale. See salmon spawn and share all as one. The story that has ended has also begun. Share, children, share, showing that you care. The salmon story circles, share, children, share. This story begins unlike any other. It starts at the end for a father and mother. They finish their journey with one final wish, that the story continues through new baby fish. Run, salmon, run beneath the moon and sun. The salmon story circles. Run, salmon, run. That's a salmon egg. That's the alevin. The alevin grow into fry. Then the fry grow into smolt. And then the smolt grow into salmon. And they go into the ocean to eat krill. And then they have more eggs. They return to their home and have more eggs. And the salmon cycle starts all over again. <laughs>